Hey guys, so it's now been nearly one week since Apple released the fourth developer beta for iOS 26 alongside the first public beta. And today I wanted to talk about my experience so far with the latest betas. I wanna talk about when we can expect the next round of betas for public beta testers and developers. But I also wanted to share my experience so far with iOS 26 beta 4. I wanna talk about performance, battery life, and some of the details that I missed on my initial coverage for this software. Now, before we talk about iOS 26 and the next set of betas, us. I also want to talk about iOS 18.6. So for those of you currently running iOS 18, Apple is now set to release iOS 18.6 shortly. Now this software update will bring three changes. I'll talk about those here in just a few seconds. But this software update, iOS 18.6, could be released as early as this week. As a matter of fact, 18.6 could release as early as today on Monday, July the 28th. I'll keep you guys posted. If Apple does release this software update, I'll let you guys know with a follow-up video. Now, this software update, although it does bring three changes, it also brings important bug fixes and security patches, as you can see right here for everyone. Now, keep in mind, this software update is running buttery smooth on this device, great battery life, great performance. So if you're not testing the betas, definitely a software update to update to. It's currently sitting in RC, the release candidate. Again, Apple could release the official software as early as today or sometime this week. But this software update will bring two things for the EU, the ability to install third-party marketplaces directly from developer's website, or install third-party apps directly from websites, directly from developers' websites, that is. Now, for everyone across the world, this software update will also fix an issue here with photos where, you know, memory movies uh, fail to be shared, as you can see right there. So, it fixes an issue in photos that could prevent memory movies from being shared, as you can see from the release notes there. So, yeah, iOS 18.6, I'll keep you guys posted. This software update should be available shortly. Now, let's talk about iOS 26, what we can expect moving forward, when we can expect the next round of betas, and what's been my experience so far with the latest beta 4 for this software update. Now, after running iOS 26 developer beta 4 for nearly one week, there's a few things I want to talk about. I want to talk about performance, battery life, and some attention to detail that I initially missed when covering the software. Now, in terms of performance, I have to say this software is running pretty good on this iPhone 16 Pro Max. I have encountered some minor issues here and there, especially with CarPlay, but aside from CarPlay, I have to say the software software is navigating pretty well when going into the app switcher, the keyboard. I haven't encountered too many bugs and issues with this software. Now, yes, it is beta, so there is still some bugs, some lags may happen here and there. But overall, this beta is a lot more stable than previous betas like beta 2 and beta 3. Now, in terms of battery life, I also have to say that battery life has improved slightly with this beta as well. So when compared to beta 1, 2, and 3, beta 4 obviously has improved the battery life slightly. I do get through my entire day, but it definitely needs work, as you can see right there. So battery life still needs work, but we continue to see improvement beta over beta, which is what we want to see here. Now, we're currently sitting in beta 4, and as I mentioned, there's a lot of attention to detail that I miss initially, such as this right here. So in the control center, this isn't much, but it is a UI element added here, which is a parallax effect to the icons of the control center. So when you move your iPhone, it gives it this really cool parallax effect around the icons, which brings the OS to life. I really like that sort of stuff. If we go into the lock screen, for example, this was here before, but it's been improved here. Take a look at the customize button. As I swipe through, you see that the shadow of the wallpaper on top of the customize button. If we swipe through, you see there, it looks really cool. And I think it brings life to the OS. I wanna see more of this. Apple also added more tinted glass elements throughout. So for example, if I go into the uh, photo menu here, you see when I tap and highlight, you see that we get a lot more of that frosted glass or that tinted glass elements throughout the OS, which is a lot of attention to detail. And we'll see more of this with future betas, which brings me to the last topic, when we can expect the second public beta and the fifth developer beta. So if history is any indication, we can expect iOS 26 developer beta 5 and public beta 2 in about one week. So last year, Apple released iOS 18 beta 5 on August 5th, which fell on a Monday. So if we go by last year's schedule, it means that the fifth developer beta and the second public beta should release on the first full week of August. So from August 4th through the 7th, we can expect the next beta for developers and public beta testers. Now, I'll keep you guys posted, obviously, if Apple changes things up, just like they've been doing a lot this year. If they do release the betas before that, then I'll keep you guys posted. I'll make another video follow-up for you guys. But there you 
you guys have it, expect the next set of betas sometime next week from the 4th through the 8th of August, I would say. And of course, iOS 18.6 should be available to the general public here in just a couple of days, if not as early as today. Thank you for watching this quick update video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.